Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk about some maps I'd like to see added to Dead by Daylight. Since the new Forsaken Boneyard Realm and Area of Crows map was added recently, it seems pretty possible now that we're going to be getting more maps, so let's get into it. The Town of Ormond is my first choice. I've always really liked the idea of snowy maps, and I think it's kind of a shame that we currently only have Mount Ormond Resort. Snow is a good setting to make something spooky, but also having a reason for it to be bright too. The Ormond Town would be a great setting to expand in the Ormond realm, as it holds a lot of meaning for the Legion. We even see it briefly in a Legion cutscene from Tome 3. In the lore it's mentioned that the Legion mess with the town a bunch too. They did stuff like steal traffic signs, causing accidents, vandalize, and general thieving. We could maybe see some crashed cars in the town center, and then some broken or missing parts of traffic signs, and graffiti over shop windows. Stuff like that. A rural snowy town feels like such a great opportunity that hasn't been explored yet. Legion and Ormond are the perfect way to look into that setting and I think it would be amazing. Ormond Town Center or an Ormond Street with shops, houses and the Legion's damage throughout. A neon city is something I've been hoping to see ever since we got the Yorkill chapter at the start of the year. We even got some glimpses of what this could look like in the home screen or lobby screen of that chapter. The city streets with all the neon coloring looks amazing and it would be a nice, more modern change to many of the maps we currently have, which are set mostly during the 20th century. Some people have mentioned that a great thing to include within a map like this is the Trickster's studio, or the one he worked for, Mighty One. It could even be the burnt out studio where his no-spin bandmates died, which is quite an important part in both the Trickster and Yunjin stories. I do like the idea of this, but I equally like the ideas of neon streets and a neon city, so it would be cool to see a combo of both. Another thing that I've always really wanted to see in DBD is a map that has a 50-50 balance of indoor and outdoor areas. If we could get like half neon city, half burnt out studio, I think that'd be such a cool pairing. The charred studio remains clashing with the perfect polished neon lights of the city. Hellshire Penitentiary is a map that I think could work extremely well. It's kind of surprising that in a horror game we haven't really explored a prison location yet. Hellshire is a pre-established location within the lore, and it would be great to see the Grave of Glenvale expanded as a realm, as I think it's one of the tonally cooler settings. It's kind of strange that this wasn't the map we got for Glenvale in the first place, because it has much more relevance to both the Deathslingers and Zarina's stories than Dead Dog does. Slinger was literally held there for a large part of his life. Not that I don't like Dead Dog, it's actually my favourite map, but for Zarina especially, there isn't much connection it seems. We don't really get any descriptions of Hellshire, but I feel it's fairly easy to imagine a wild westy prison. I think something like Midwitch would be a good visual comparison to kind of get an idea, at least layout wise. A big yard area in the centre, and then a surrounding boxy area with cells, the warden's office, and more. Out in the yard there could be watchtowers and stuff like that, to add a bit more verticality outside. I feel they could get really creative with something like this. The Macmillan Mines is a map we arguably already have in Suffocation Pit, but I would love to see an exploration actually into the mines themselves. The idea of the interior of the mines, the claustrophobia, the dustiness, the fact that you've been caved in, I think is really interesting as a setting, and pretty scary. The story behind the mines is that all the Macmillan Estate workers were led into them by the trapper, and blocked inside with an explosion. That seemed to have made some rocks fall or a tunnel collapse, trapping within. There's a bunch of cool things that could be put in a Macmillan Mines map, like the tracks we see outside in Suffocation Pit, maybe we could even see some minecarts inside, there could be stuff like picks lying around, shovels and different minerals, the breakable walls could be weakened parts of stone that can be busted down, there could be supports everywhere holding up the tunnel, there could be bigger cavernous areas with wooden scaffolding and structures, everything could be lit by torches or small gaps within the cave walls that let light in. Maybe this one is very impractical for DVD's gameplay, but I think the actual mines themselves would fit the harsh and sharp Macmillan environment so well. Maybe the lack of light would be too much of an issue though. Finally, I thought we'd look at one licensed map idea. This one I like the idea of as kind of a replacement for Hawkins Laboratory, which is Resident Evil's Nest Laboratory. This place is quite similar to Hawkins honestly, just with everything being a bit wider and less claustrophobic. There's even these big open rooms that maybe would be hard to incorporate, but would definitely look cool. 
There's a great opportunity to use this lab to show off lots of creepy Resident Evil experiments. We know that more active ambient features can be a thing, as in the RPD map we have zombies that claw at the windows and such. So if you could walk around the lab, seeing all these different experiments, I think that would be pretty cool. I feel the Nest Lab also has quite a wide variety of rooms and different areas, which I think is what made Hawkins a little less fun and feel less related to Stranger Things as a whole, was the lack of resemblance and room differentiation. There's a lot of space for creativity with the Nest Lab, and I imagine a few of the Hawkins assets could even be repurposed from Hawkins, as a lot of the textures or visuals are quite similar. I have no idea how that stuff works though, so maybe I just sound silly, I don't know. Oh yeah, as a little addition that I just thought of now, it would also be cool to see the castle we saw in the Observer cutscene come into the game as a map with the vampire guy as the killer. That would be a completely new location, and a castle has so much potential, and it's just a visually cool and distinct environment. Alright, well, that's gonna do it. I do hope you enjoyed, and be sure to drop your own thoughts on this, as well as maps you'd like to see, down below. Thanks, and goodbye.